Dealey has spent a, a lifetime serving others and in many ways serving the University of Texas. Whether it's her family, her friends, or her projects, she puts everything into it. She is a strong leader. She has a, an ex, a keen insight into organizing projects quickly. Everyone around the table knows that she is well prepared. People gravitate toward Dealey. They understand that she's a woman of great character, integrity, dedication, and loyalty. She's loyal to her state. She loves the state of Texas. She loves history. Uh, these things are meaningful to her, and people recognize that. She has a vision. She knows what needs to be done, and she can make it happen. Our mother, Isabel, loved history and was a preservationist from the beginning. And then my father's skills, among many, were leadership, organization. Both Dealey and I were pulled into that through our father. People need to know she's made an indelible change and impression in our state. Dealey pulled me in to help with the restoration of the Texas State Capitol. Huge undertaking to redo the Capitol from the top of the dome through the basement. And it had not been done in well over 100 years. Keep in mind, there were over 200 legislators there that all were giving her advice. She was praised for executing the design as intended, keeping the project on budget, keeping the project on time, and most importantly, accommodating all of the changes that go along in a project like that. I'm not sure that project could have gotten done without Dealey. Through several administrations, Dealey was always involved with the governor's mansion. When the uh, arson occurred, she was called in almost immediately. Because of her longtime history with the mansion, having worked on it during the restoration in the 80s, she knew that building intimately. Knowing that the mansion is so severely damaged, what do we do to preserve what's there that's important, but also use this opportunity to deal with all the infrastructure problems that couldn't be addressed while the house was in its pre-existing condition. She was able to come in and make some recommendations very early on, which I think had a lot to do with how we were able to preserve and, and save the mansion. So you've got two iconic buildings in our state that she has left her imprint on. In the early 2000s, Dealey was the project director for the ACES building. It's a complex combination of both architecture and design and technology and infrastructure. And she did an incredible job to get that building built in a very short time frame, and I might add, on budget as always. It's an incredible legacy, and I'm so excited that the university is recognizing that legacy. Dealey and David have loved the university since the time they were undergraduates. When you ask them what's been most meaningful in their lives, aside from their professions and, and most importantly, their family, the University of Texas is, is right there at the top. She's always had an interest in making our state a better place for the next generation. Something that people will always value as one of the highest honors they ever receive, no matter what else they accomplish in life. Being a distinguished alumni of the University of Texas is without a doubt at the top. She's a very dis deserving, distinguished alumna.